Wiltenborger Kloster Marzen. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. I've got another one from the Weltenberger Kloster, or the Weltenberg Abbey Brewery, and it's their Martzen, which I've been wanting to try for ages, but I just couldn't get hold of it. Finally found some online from a bottle shop from the People's Republic of Yorkshire. The sacred sod of God's own county, Yorkshire. Uh, a place called Osset. Which is, uh, what's it called? I have it right here. No, I don't, I'm a fucking liar. This, this came from Beers of Europe and it was reasonably cheap and I had to get it because Martzen is a favorite of mine. Martzen, of course, is the beer originating from Bavaria, brewed in March for the Oktoberfest. Now, unfortunately, they don't serve Martzen at Oktoberfest anymore. It's usually a strong Hellas that they call Fest beer. But Martzen, up until I think it was the 1970s that they used to serve it there, but it, for some reason Hellas became more popular and their own, or the brewery's own Fest beer was brewed. And it's usually the best beer that they brew, in my opinion anyway. Certainly the big six from Munich, in my opinion, it's the best beers that they brew. But this lot, Weltenberg Kloster or Kloster are from Bavaria. They're from a place near Regensburg, which is on the Danube. And they are, in my opinion, although some will dispute it, saying it's Weinstefana, but it's, it's out of them too, which one is the oldest brewery in the world. This lot go from 1050. Weinstefana say that they originate from 1040. It's been speculated that the documents saying that Weinstefan has been going since 1040 are f not fake, but just they don't ring true. And th they originally set up in business in the 1600s. Now, I'm not going to argue the toss here. It doesn't bother me in the slightest who's the oldest. But I do know that it's a lot of good. I tried their Bock, or Doppelbock, I think it was, and it was out of this world. It was absolutely amazing stuff. Of course, you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect anything less from Bavaria. Now this lot, and again, it's, this goes back to my whole thing about marketing. This lot are a genuine Abbey brewery. No sign of any priests or anything like that <coughs> on the front, which in my opinion is a good thing. You've just got a picture of the Abbey on there. That's a good sign in my opinion. Now, as I said, with um, Mars and beer, that's a bit of a catch-all phrase. It's basically a bottom-fermented lager-style beer, but usually using slightly darker malt. And the malts um, would have been roasted slightly or just slightly darker in, in colour to give it a darker colour and a little bit of a different flavour. But it promises to be a good one. On paper, I really do like the look of this. So let's stop gassing and let's investigate this beer. Right, the beer, 500ml bottle, 5.5%, which is about right for a Martzen. And there's three different types of hops in here. Now, these hops all originate from the Halatau region in Bavaria. I'll just go into a little bit about Halatau. Sorry, I'll, I'll just say what the three hops are. The three hops that you've got on here are Hercules, Tradition, and Perla. Three great hops that are used in German beer. The Halatau, Halatau Tradition, that's a hop that's used in quite a number of German beers, as is Perla as well. The Hercules hop 
Not so much, but you do see it in a few beers. And I've certainly had beers with Hercules hops in them before. But I just want to quickly go over Hallertau and you know, in the region of Hallertau. That region is the biggest hop growing region in the world, bar none. If you've ever seen footage of it or films of it, it is absolutely massive. And there are some fantastic hop growers there, but they take it so seriously as well. And these hops are analyzed for their acid content. They are continually trying to grow new breeds of hops, trying to get different flavors. And a big thing that they try to do as well is trying to make the hops more resilient to uh, mildew, which is a, a massive problem for hop growers, or it was. They're getting, you know, they're getting slightly more resilient now with the uh, mildew, which is a big problem. Of course, pests are another problem with them, but you really need to check out Hallertau if you can find any documentation on it, or if, if you, as if you're interested. It is absolutely fascinating how seriously they take the hop growing there. I mean, it's huge. There is vast swathes of land, and it's it's very eco-friendly as well because when they've they've automated the uh, bringing down of the hops and the processing of the hops, you know, separating them from the vines, etc. But all the all the chaff that is taken out that all goes to uh, refertilize the land for the next year's crop of hops and uh, it really is amazing how they've perfected the art of hop growing but it's worth checking out anyway i've spoken far too much about the hops let's get into the beer I do like the beer from this lot i'd be very surprised if this was a bad beer they're from bavaria beer heaven as it's known. Veltenberg Kloster, Kloster cap on there. Have a look at it. There you go. I suggest you check out the review of the Doppelbock as well. That was absolutely amazing stuff. An absolutely fantastic beer. Really did rate that. That got a 10 out of 10, rightly so as well. Okay. So there we are, there we have the beer. Now it's slightly darker than a Hellas. I'm not sure whether you're getting that on the camera, but it's a slightly amberish. It's got an amberish hue to it. Nice, foamy, tightly packed white head. Oh, it smells really nice. Really nice. There's a lot more hop character in this one that's coming through. Or oh, very herbal, grassy and grainy as well. Mm, nice bit of earth on there too. And a little lemon citrus. This does smell really nice, I have to say. I wonder if it will taste as good. Now, this before I start, this, um, this should have been served in what's called a Kugel Siegel. And what that is, it's like a if you can imagine, a, you know the old dimpled pint mugs? It's like one of them, but slightly rounded at the top. It's what they suggest that this beer is drunk out of, and all their beers are drunk out of. To be honest though, Marlsen's very much like Hellas and Pilsner, bottom fermented lager style. I don't think it's going to do it any harm if I drink it out of this tall glass here. But there we have it. Looks absolutely amazing. Nice bit of carbonation on there too. Look at that, that just looks like the perfect pint for me. Let's get it down the hatch. Prost, as they say in Germany. Oh, it's lovely. Cool. Oh, that is beautiful. It's really good. Diving again. Mm. 
So there's some caramel malt on this. Wow, that finish. Oh, it's bitter. Oh, it's got a lovely bitter finish on this. Some really nice caramel malt on that. And a fair bit of carbonation as well in the mouth. Not obtrusive, just right. But the, the hops dominate this. There is quite big earthy notes. Very noble hop inspired. But there's quite big earthy and herbal grassy type notes on this. There was a little touch of lemon citrus on that too. But the finish is just pure bitterness of black pepper. Bitter leaves, if you can imagine that. I'm sure that's something to do with the alpha acid content in them hops. Oh, it's, so, it's so easy drinking though. That finish, it almost tastes like a Pilsner with that bitter hop finish. And, you know, you could argue, looks-wise, that's very similar to a Czech Pilsner. But there's a lot of, lot of bitterness on that finish, which makes it interesting. I don't remember that from other Marsens, not as, not as bitter, but it, it, it's really nice. I do like this. Lovely bit of sweet caramel malt mixed with that bitterness too. But then that slowly dies and the bitterness remains. Oh, it's gorgeous. That is absolutely lovely. Really nice. But I can't emphasize how easy drinking this stuff is. It really does go down superbly. I love the finish, the, the finish just knocks me out. It's that sweet caramel malt and that just mass of hop character on top of it, which lingers and lingers and lingers. And it just makes for great, great drinking in my opinion. That is an absolute winner. So what's the verdict on Veltenberg Kloster Martzen? Oh, that is superb. That is a fantastic pint of beer. I really do like Martzen, the style of beer. It's, I just find it a little bit richer than lager, certainly on the caramel malt. And this is what this, that's what this has got. But on top of that, it's got that bitterness, almost Pilsner type bitterness, North German Pilsner type bitterness. And that lingers and lingers. And it just makes it, so drinkable it's absolutely gorgeous for me that is a 10 out of 10 that is good beer and i definitely recommend it but i recommend anything from this brewery they are a genuine abbey brewery monastic brewery they brew some absolute fucking belters the doppelbock you have to try that if, you, if i was going to say to you which beer to try first from them if you're not sure the hellas yeah that's good the Doppelbock is absolutely amazing. So is this. So take your pick. But anything they do, anything they put their hand to is going to be good. I haven't tried them all, but I'm damn sure if, they, if they're doing beers like them three that I've just listed, I'd be really, really surprised if they've messed up any of the others. That is just superb. For me, that's 10 out of 10. That is recommended. And remember, beer is working class champagne.